Well, a nuclear emergency, guys, today, today, guys, a nuclear emergency. Washington State, after a tunnel collapse happened, this triggered, guys, all kinds of warnings, chaos in and around the area. Let me get you guys the full report here. There were thousands of workers. They were warned to take immediate cover after a tunnel collapse on Tuesday in a shuttered area of Washington's plutonium and uranium extraction plant that was previously used in a nuclear weapons production. This is very serious matter. The tunnel at the, at the Hanford plant building, known as Purex, was full of contaminated particles, guys, including radioactive train cars that transported fuel rods, according to King 5. The entire site is about half the size of Rhode Island, for that matter. Hanford is located about 200 miles southeast of Seattle. Now, the 20-foot by 20-foot area that suffered the collapse was built during, get this, the Cold War era, guys, and sits over a tunnel which is hundreds of feet long. Eight feet of soil covers the tunnel, and the soil appeared to have collapsed into the tunnel, according to the authorities with this. They go say, quote, there's no indication of contamination spread during this event, spokesman Destry Henderson said. However, all non-essential employees near the collapse site in an area known as 200 East Area have been sent home, according to the official Hanford site. Now, the workers on a swing shift who are not needed for essential site operations Tuesday are being told not to come to work as the officials continue to determine how to address the cave-in that happened with this collapse, guys. Again, a very, very scary situation here. Uh, the governor, Jay uh, Inslee, had this statement to say, this is a serious situation and ensuring the safety of the workers for the community is our very top priority in the matter. Now, officials are continuing to monitor the air quality, which is very important when it comes to anything nuclear radiation type, guys, and are working on how they will fix the hole in the tunnel roof, including options that would provide a barrier between the contaminated equipment in the tunnel and the outside air that would not cause the hole in the tunnel's roof to be able to widen, okay? So thankfully for right now, it doesn't appear to be any contamination. Thank God for that. This could have been a disaster. Pray for all those that are involved. They'll be able to rebuild this tunnel. You still have to have a little bit of concern as to what's going on. Now let's hope and pray that nothing else collapses in this area and that workers and investigators can work quickly and efficiently uh, to get this tunnel rebuilt again and do it without the potential of getting in the way of any of the nuclear radiation contamination. So just pray for all those involved, guys. All right. I'll put the full link below if you want to check out more. While you're here, subscribe to my channel, CardsFan480. I'm here on both YouTube and also on Periscope, so please feel free to subscribe if you guys like what you see. I'll continue to bring you all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. Thank you to the new subscribers that have joined up recently. It means a great deal to me. Most importantly, though, guys, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God today where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you right now, it'll be the greatest decision you ever will make and it would be my personal honor to pray for you. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please, as always, be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every one of you and I'll talk with you soon.